y'all. Put your gloves on. Today's part two. Let's over die. <clears throat> okay, I have two tubs. Uh, hey, backwards. Um, and each shirt goes it's in its own tub. And we do this because they are already dyed. If I put them in my soda ash tub with all my other blanks that are soaking, they're going to turn these colors. So they're not going to turn these colors like vividly, but there will be a trace. And it may compromise some yellows or something. So we're gonna do this. So I've mixed up my soda ash. Get out that. And I'm just gonna put in enough. Try not to splash. I'm putting in just enough because I won't reuse this soda ash. Because it's going to be color, you know, it's going to be tinted or colored or this is going to leach just from sheer soaking. So I don't want to waste it and fill my whole tub. So I'm just making sure that it's soaked in there. Really good. And we are, okay, 20 minutes or more. With 20 minutes or more in my house equals about five days. <laughs> I forget sometimes and it's not gonna hurt it it's gonna leach the color it's not gonna hurt the garment itself so now I have all this extra soda ash this is my soda ash tub where I keep all my blanks as you can see it's full see this one here's a little bit of a different color because this was a white shirt that got washed with a bunch of tie-dye it got left in the wash machine when I did a load of whites and then I did a load of tie-dye afterwards and it, it picked up color, but it's, it's okay. Um, this is, you can tell, is not leaching, right? Because it's been washed so many times. Uh, and it's so lightly, I don't want to be a hypocrite. It's so lightly tinted, I'm not worried about it. So my leftover soda ash in my bucket, I'm going to pour in here. And this is all, this is packed. And I have left shirts in my soda ash bucket for like two months. It really, it doesn't hurt them. As long as they're submerged um, and not touching too much air, I keep it covered. Um, there's no mildew, there's no mold. So this will be fine. I'm getting ready to go on vacation. These are going to be fine. It's not going to hurt anything. The only time I don't is when I'm recycling clothes and they have like metal uh, buckles or buttons. I don't let them soak more than 24 hours because I don't want any rust. That will happen. But th these guys will be fine. So we'll put the lid back on it. And this is just our revolving bucket of soda ash. I just keep renewing for, I don't know, the last six, seven years. I just keep renewing and everything is fine. Okay, so we're going to let these soak. Uh, while these are soaking, this is the latest project that I'm doing. I've got 55 shirts in an order that I'm doing, and I have them all over my craft room. All over my craft room. My new plant. I love this plant. Swiss cheese philodendron. <laughs> I love her so much. But you see my blanks? Look, 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 look. That's part of the shirts that I have done from that order. Oh, look, more blanks. Oh, look, more blanks. It's festival season. I have to keep these blanks on him because I have so many festivals coming up between now and Christmas. I just keep keep going and keep going and I, I don't have a problem. 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 Okay, here's my tubs with my soaking, right? I want to show you this. Um, I don't know, vanity is a bad thing, but there's also confidence in your word uh, as an artist when you tell people how often your items have been washed, how color fast they are. These have been soaking 
uh, two hours. I've been doing some yard work. I've rinsed out some tie dye. Um, and I just, when I tell people, go ahead and throw them in the wash with your clothes, wash them like you would normal. Um, don't use bleach. You know, don't use anything with bleach. Um, wash them like normal in cold water. Uh, take them out of the washing machine. As soon as they're done, put them in the dryer. Do you see how little the bleed out there is of this shirt? This blue shirt? Like, that says a lot. In, in the course of a washing machine, as it's being washed, you're, that's not going to translate into your clothes, right? This has been setting in its own, you know, dye juice for like two hours. Dye is little to no uh, leaching of color. Then, here's the, here's the other one. This is the process. So when you do this professionally and you wash them so many times before you sell them for a reason, you want them to be color fast. You want them to not ruin your customer's load of clothing so they get mad. You know what I mean? Like, and here's the, like next to nothing for soaking for two hours. So that's your process. That's why your process is so important, kids. Listen to Mom Tish when it comes to this. I'm all right. I'm going to throw them in the wash machine, spin them out until they're damp, and we're going to put some color down. Ooh, okay. All right. These are these are wetter than I normally like because my wash machine won't just spin out two shirts. <laughs> so I had to wring it out by hand. Um, okay. Here's my vision. Um... So this has a spiral that goes this way. I, I don't know how these are gonna turn out because these are not damp, okay? Uh, I don't know if that's going to, I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out why we spin them out in the washing machine until damp, right now. So, but this spiral, right? So what if we had a spiral that went this way? What if we had contradicting spirals? spirals or okay right so normally we spiral this way right so I'm going to spiral in the opposite direction what's up cooks I think she misses my crochet videos because she could come hang out when I was sitting. Okay. It's weird spiraling in this direction. Muscle memory. All right, let's put some rubber bands on it. We're finding out all kinds of stuff today. Okay, all right, so there's my, there's my spiral. Now, here's my, <laughs> this blue, this blue. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't think like what I wanted to do with this. Um, because I have this beautiful light and dark blue field in the back and I want to keep that so what I thought was why don't we keep the blue up here and let's do a crinkle like diagonally right leave this here and we're just going to do this diagonal crinkle down here with another color but we're gonna have that blue in the background okay so bear with it's wet. Will my washable marker work so I can at least get a line? I don't know. Let's find out today, kids. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna be folding down here, right? Um, and I'm leaving all of this here. This is just gonna, uh, uh, uh. It's just gonna be an accent corner, okay? So, I'm 
not making a straight line. I'm just trying to make a separation. Okay, hey Cooks, what's up girl? Tell everybody hi. You haven't made an appearance in a long time, have you lady? Now I love you. Okay, so this is just my, my separation line on this really wet shirt. Thanks Cooks. Love you bunches. Love you bunches. And this is where I'm gonna put Band. I know lady, tell me about it. Well, why don't you just take this interlude while I'm doing this and tell me a story. What have you been doing today? Sleeping? Like a cat? Sleep all day and run through the house all night? Okay, so there's my line. Then, just, that's it, right? Just gonna accent it here. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you would have done with this shirt. If you would have had to crinkle and it overnight, what would you have done? Because we'll try it again in another video. Real easy. Real easy. Okay, there's my crinkle accent. There's my backward spiral. Let's go put some tie down. Okay, well, okay, okay. Put my gloves on. Okay, so real quick, I'm using Natural Fiber Procyon dyes. They'll be mixed to the manufacturer's specifications. Um, we did hot water irrigation for these. For the over dye, I'm gonna use liquid. Getting my gloves on. Um, for your green palette, you're a little limited. Because um, you're going to make mud if you're not careful. Uh, red and green complement each other, but they don't mix. Okay, Color Wheel 101 with Anti Tish. Okay, um, we could use yellow, but it's not going to show up. It's going to change the effects of the green, but it's not going to show up. Yellow and blue make green. Blue's going to be beautiful on here. Okay, our blue opens us up. It's a primary. We could use darker blues. We could use reds. We could use hot pinks. Uh, we can use yellow to make green. We can't use orange um, because orange is the complementary to blue. Orange and blue mixed together make mud. Purple would be gorgeous on here too. So I have a lot more wiggle room as far as, hey, what do I want to do with the blue shirt than I do with the green shirt. So... There we go. Class is up. Class dismissed. Also, uh, look what I have graduated up to uh, in my videos. Normally I use a bottle this size. Uh, and business has gotten good, kids. So now I'm dying in these big um, 34 ounce, 32 ounce, 4 cups. What's 8 times 4? I'm just pretty. Somebody do the math, okay? So. But yeah, I've graduated up to these big bottles. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm just so excited. So for this, I want some finesse, though. I need something with a finer point. I'm not going to use that big of a bottle. Okay, so I put my little bit more finesse here. So we did this opposite spiral. So now I'm like, how many spiral arms do I want to accent? Do I want one big wide spiral arm? to go in the opposite direction or do I want a couple smaller ones and I think I want a couple smaller ones so I'm going to do two very thin pie pieces opposite of each other okay and do the same thing on the back oh hey cooks now what are you doing already already look how gorgeous that is look how gorgeous that is And I can tell a huge difference in desaturation because these shirts are wet. These shirts are really wet. Okay, we're gonna turn over, do the exact same thing on the other side. Daddy's home. These are getting bigger than what I wanted because, again, say it one more time, Tish. Saturation. Okay, so. 
there's gonna be our opposite spiral. <laughs> Can you stand it? Okay, now we got more wiggle room here. So I thought with um, the with the blue, yellow and blue, or uh, yellow and blue make green, uh, red and blue make purple. Um, so for this accent, uh, we're gonna hit it hard. We're gonna hit it with some black here, with this line, and then we're gonna take that black out to red, and then let it go into purple. Uh, I got a little bit of black here. Not gonna need a lot. Just right next to the rubber band. That'll make a nice contrast. And we got some fire red. Gonna do some fire red. Then, okay. Then down here, I'm gonna go with the lilac. And I'm going to do them opposite on the other side. I don't want to go too hard. Because uh, I want that blue to show through. But it'll be red and purple and then purple and red. Barely. I'm just going to twist it. That black's good. See that black? That's good. And then we're going to do the teeny tiniest little bit of red down here. Because I don't want to oversaturate that blue. And then we're going to do a little bit of lilac here. Again, just a little bit. I don't want to oversaturate that blue. All right. <laughs> and it's folded pretty thick, but it's really wet. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. How's it gonna turn out? I don't know. All right. I'll see you after washing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Like, look how. <laughs> Wasted papers in the floor. Just this little corner, this little accent that we did with some red and with some lilac. Just this little accent. Look how it sets off. Look how the original color. Let's look. look how that original color is peeking out. See there? See that? I gotta put my glasses on. I'm squinting at you. It'll make me look mean. But if we hadn't have dyed it first. This down here, we could have heavily saturated and it would have been red and purple and purple and red, right? Or there would have been white in there. But now that original dye has given more depth to the colors that we put on. Look at the back. Got some, some overspill here from that red. That red is really, really saturated. But I don't care, it's tie-dye. Happy mistakes. Thank you, Bob Ross. But look how awesome. Look how awesome. This one, 100% success. I don't know. You, you tell me in the comments, but I think this is a success. And I think I'm gonna be doing more. Like this, right here. I love this accent corner. That looks so cool. There's more. Okay, here she is. It's a bit of a train wreck because of what I was, what my end goal was, okay? So we had that original spiral, okay? Or this way. Wait a minute, this one goes this way. So it was this way. <laughs> okay, the shirt was not damp it was wet because i wrung it out instead of spinning it out that turquoise took hold and had a party i didn't use that much turquoise i used the thin applicator i made the two triangles right so i could have my spiral it ran and had a party like it just took off not mad about it because that turquoise and that chartreuse do you see do you see that happy party with 
those two colors. The design could be a lot better. The color combination, on point. On the back, look, you can really see it on the back. So, train wreck, not mad about it. It's tie-dye, y'all. I mean, come on, it's tie-dye. So we tried it. I think if the shirt had been damp, it would have worked. So that just means we're gonna try it again. That's how we learn. That's how we learn things. That's how we discover things. It don't hurt my feelings. I ain't perfect. I don't care. I'm learning with you. Oh, I love these colors together. I do love these colors together. So I'm not mad about it. But I could be happier with it. Tell me what you would have done different. Of all the things that we've talked about, what steps would you have done different that we didn't do other than the ringing out, which we, we knew, we knew going into it. But what would you have done different with this spiral and this turquoise? Put in the comments below. I want to know. I want to learn. I want to try something new. Hey, if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. I'll make sure I put it in a playlist so it's easier for you to find. My channel is loaded with content from tie-dyeing, wins and fails, <laughs> jewelry making, spirituality, crocheting, vacation. Me and Big Daddy are on vacation right now. We're headed to Firefly. I'll be posting a video about that next week. I'm so excited to go on vacation. <laughs> you have no idea. And remember, be peaceful. Be kind. It's important. Try something new today. Win or fail. Go ahead and give it a try. Who knows? You might like it. I'll talk to you soon.